Welcome back. Yeah. You are just in time for some trending stories. Let's get into it, Jackie. Yes, ready? I'm ready. Yes. With, we have all the things in our hands. How are we, we going to do this? We got We're going to do it. Here we go. It's time for <laughs> Hot, Hot Topics. topics. <laughs> yes. Well, the United States women's soccer team making history over mm -hmm. the weekend, winning its fourth World Cup <laughs> title. The U.S. defeated the Netherlands 2 to nil, becoming back-to-back -back champions. Megan Rapino, who missed the semifinal match against England because of a hamstring strain, scored the team's first goal. Rose Lavelle scored the second in this year's tournament. Team U.S. scored 26 goals, setting a new record for single edition of the Women's World Cup. Congratulations are pouring in, of course, from celebrities and including President, former President Barack Obama, President Donald Trump, and First Lady Melania Trump. Uh, already, the parade is being planned, of course. Yes, exciting. that's going to be super exciting. Congratulations to this women's team. Yes. Two back-to-back -back World Cups, four total. Pay these ladies. I know. Seriously, they're Just awesome. Just do it. Just do it. I they're had awesome. The most fun at Farrell's yesterday watching this game with Yes, them. I saw you had your patriotic glasses on. I, I, I mean, I, you could take some credit for the win. Yes, I should. It's because <laughs> I wore those patriotic glasses all weekend. I bought them for July the 4th, but yes. I found every opportunity to wear them all weekend long. You did? Yeah. Well, congratulations to you, Jason. <laughs> You're welcome. USA. Also happening over the weekend, the world got its first clear look at the newest royal at his christening, Archie Harrison, Mountbatten, Windsor. He was christened at at Windsor in a private ceremony exactly two months after he was born on May 6th. Now Archie, he is the seventh in line to the throne. Those in attendance include, of course, uh, Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, uh, Prince William, Duchess Kate, um, Dad, Prince Charles. Everybody was there pretty much except for the Queen who did have a previous engagement. Right. Also there, uh, Meghan Markle's mom. So I love this picture. Sweet Archie. My godchild. Yes. <laughs> we, if you didn't know that, we have announced that before. We have announced that before. I also wasn't able to attend just because I was picking up the big kids from camp. Right. They understood, though. They understood I mm -hmm. did send a darling present. Yeah. Of course you did. <laughs> of course I did. Well, the ball cap <laughs> challenge, I know you're keeping up with this. Oh, yeah, for Arkansas sure. On social media. <laughs> uh, it's continuing to dominate on social media. Oh, yeah. And now it has a new contender, <laughs> music icon Mariah Carey, the singer posting her challenge attempt to Instagram and Twitter, mm -hmm. but adding her own diva touch. Uh oh, let's listen. What? Bam. Yes, she trades in high kicks for high notes. It's unknown if her vocals are really responsible for the challenge win, but social media loving her rendition. And I'm going to give her credit for it on her, her vocals. For sure. I mean, only Mimi can do this. <laughs> So, I mean, this is done total, total diva style, total Mariah Carey style. I absolutely love it. This <laughs> bottle cap challenge is really taking off. I actually love this bottle cap challenge because it is safe and it's not something that if I'm trying it at home that I'm going to hurt myself doing. You right. don't have to worry about kids eating the bottle or anything like that. It's no. totally safe. So, I'm really liking the bottle cap challenge and I'm loving all the creativity that we're seeing we from it. We got to do it. I think we have to do it. Now that we've talked about it so much on this show, we have to do it. Okay. We can. We can, we can, we can totally do it. Challenge accepted. <laughs> all right. Well, here's first look at the trailer for Disney's live action remake of Mulan. It is yeah. based on the 1998 animated movie about a Chinese woman who pretends to be a man to spare her father from military service. Now the new Mulan stars actress Crystal Liu in the title character and Jet Li, I really love him. Did he you? is going yeah. to play the Chinese emperor. Look for this movie in theaters in 2020. I know. This also blew up social media over the weekend. Yes. Looking very excited for this. Yeah. I heard no, maybe no Mushu, though. I heard no Mushu. I heard maybe only the music is going to be the score as well. So I can't wait to see what happens. Maybe no singing, no Mushu, I think. Oh, that's frustrating. We'll see how this shakes but, out. She looks amazing in this. Finally, we want to give a little bit of a shout out to young actor best known for his role in the Disney show Jesse and mm -hmm. the movie Descendants. Cameron Boyce has died. Mm -hmm. According to a statement released by his family, Boyce passed away in his sleep due to a seizure from an ongoing medical condition. A Disney Channel spokesperson released a statement saying Boyce dreamed of sharing his artistic talents with the world from a young age and he hoped to make a difference in people's lives. And I think that he did that. I know my kids are very touched by his performances. They loved him in the Descendants movies and I am sad to see him go.